tunnel with a lot of style and confidence. The view. Good evening, Kevin. What a story. David, thank you. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Aaron Gordon out there with Jokic. Then it's Will Barton. Then there's Jamal Murray. And it's Porter in at the small forward. And for the Clippers, Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Marcus Morris. And it's Batum in at the five down low. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Martin passes to Jokic, and it's blocked. A capable defensive player. That wingspan of Batum, really an asset in blocking shots. Plenty of daylight on that shot. George has got the first points up on the board here for the Clippers. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And no doubt last season was a bit of a step backwards for Aaron Gordon. And after that breakout 2019 season, his numbers just didn't hold up. And you know, Greg, the issue was his shooting. You know, Gordon had a tough time from distance, especially from three-point range. Some of that is, is maybe mechanics, but also shot selection a part of it. Um, and I also thought he was a little more passive with the ball, maybe a little more indecisive. Um, but again, he's a young player, really young player, so I'm thinking it was probably just um, an off year for him and he'll bounce back in good fashion. Second free throw, no good. The former Arizona Wildcat, Gordon, is a high motor player who gives great effort out there all the time. Morris with the bucket. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now here's Murray. Great tee that time from Batum. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. The drive by Jackson. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it up and in. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. Murray against Jackson. Here's Porter. Two points. That one goes. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. George finds Leonard over Porter. Leonard, no luck. On the wing, Porter. He's covered by Leonard. Porter passes to Jokic. He dishes it to Murray. Over Jackson. They get it back. Jokic with the bucket. How about that persistence there? Jokic refusing to give up on the glass. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Clippers ahead, up two. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Earlier tonight, we spoke with Paul George about how they've... Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. Every... Break that last point is key. This team plays lockdown defense. And that's a big part of their identity. Most teams talk about being well-balanced. This team lives it. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Ajahn Rondo is out there with Luke Kanaan. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Mann in at the three, the small forward. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And here are the Clippers now after the Nuggets pick up two. Five to shoot. Here's Leonard. That one, no good. Gordon with the defensive effort. Lots of room. And the shot is long. 
Clippers leading by three. Leonard on the wing. Plays it up and banks it in. Leonard's got five now. Well, you know, Rondo's a multi-time league assist leader. If you're open, he's getting you to rock. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Gordon dishes to Green. Denver passing it around. Gordon against Rondo. No good that time. That's a two from Kennard. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. And so it's Los Angeles bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks so much. Kawhi, you seem to be so at ease out there. How much is that helping your game? It's helping out. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. And that's a wrap. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Greg, we know the names of the superstars, but there are players that are just under that category who probably should get a little more recognition. Hey, hey, Kevin, that's a great point, and I'm going to toot my alma mater's horn a little bit. Christian Wood's a guy that kind of yes. reminds me of that. He's kind of on the come up. How about Devontae Grant, mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018? But he's showing to be an established young talent in this league. And there are many more guys like that, and they're going to have their opportunity to become household names. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So on the floor for Denver. Aaron Gordon out there with Michael Porter. And it's Nikola Jokic. Then it's Will Barton. And it's Murray in at the point. Every single season, Paul George has kicked his game up another level. I think he's a premier two-way forward who gets it done at both ends. Now, here's Jokic. Back to Barton. Porter looking it over. Pass to Jokic. Five on the clock. And here's Barton. Deep two from Murray. Off the left rim and out. Outside Leonard, the pass to George. Now here's Leonard. Morris kicks to Leonard over Gordon. And it's Jokic with the rebound. The Nuggets trail by 10. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the shot goes in. It's obvious that Barton's jump shot has come a long way. Right now, he's pretty solid at catching and shooting. Leonard. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got four assists in the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Morris with the bucket. Yes, and how about the unselfishness? Paul George has no problem sharing the ball. For Denver, they've gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. Marie finds Barton. To the middle. Here's Gordon. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. 
It's good. The quickness of Reggie Jackson, terrific. Superb at slicing apart the defense with his drives to the rack. Murray outside. Down low. The layup missed. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. They've got Batum. Paul George is out there with Marcus Morris. And there's Jackson, and it's Mann in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. The Nuggets trail by 13. To the paint. Here's Jokic. Good. Jokic doing a nice job getting right to the spot and capitalizing, taking advantage of the high percentage shots. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Los Angeles. Inside, Mann. Batum trying to break loose. Mann gets the bucket. Mann's got the lead up to 13 now for Los Angeles. Jokic high post. That one drops for him. This is a big guy, a mountain of a man. I mean, Jokic is a sturdy, thick 250 pounds on. It's going to take a bigger bump to disrupt his shot than that. Porter against George. To the middle. Here's Jackson. No good. Shot missing. Ice D from Porter. The Nuggets trail by 11. And that one is good. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. George against Porter. And George, here we go. Again, Los Angeles. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about. That's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it. They've done it. Offensive rebound. Porter, no luck. Jackson in the corner to the inside. Rebound by the Nuggets. <laughs> and that was almost one for the highlights. The long distance alley you just a fraction off the mark. Nice move. He stepped back and cast it up. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. And here's Los Angeles. Eight point game. George looking over the floor. And so Los Angeles takes the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a 